How's it going car people? It's Lucas here back with another review and today I have my first ever scooter review. A 2009 Suzuki Bergman 650 and I will of course start it up and give you a full tour of it so let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the key to this scooter. As you can see it's just a regular key, nothing special. I'm actually going to go ahead and give it a walk around first before doing everything else. We got our fuel cap right here which you need to open via the key. This is the back. Here's your exhaust, little Suzuki badge, and here are your tail lights. This right here is a little storage case. Let me open it real quick. There's an entire set of keys. This remote is for the garage right there. It has nothing to do with the scooter. So we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll turn it and then push the button. There we go. Obviously, it's just a regular storage space. Nothing special to that. On to the side. It's a Bergman 650 badge. The engine is right underneath the vehicle. It's a 638cc engine. Has probably like 55 horsepower and 40 pound-feet of torque, so of course not much, but that's all this thing really needs. Okay, so it's a two-seater. Go ahead and hop on right here. And I will start it up in a little bit, not right now though. There's actually a security system that this scooter has where if this pedal is down, it won't start the engine. It needs to be up. And in fact, the only gears are drive as well as the, um, you can switch between a manual and a automatic mode. D of course is drive, so it's automatic. This switches it over to manual and you can switch it back. You got your turn signals right here, as well as your headlight button over here. We'll actually go ahead and uh, switch on the vehicle's ignition. Look at that. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, switch over on the display. As you can see, only has 10,000 kilometers on it, which is nothing for a 2009, so it was looking at about 1,000 kilometers a year there. <laughs> Digital speedometer, here's your tack. Outside temperature, engine temperature, and fuel gauge. And yeah, of course, you can switch between manual and automatic. And there's no neutral gear. That's what I find so weird about this. But then again, it's a security system that this vehicle had installed. Also, I have clock settings right here, and when the ignition's off, shows the time. That's off by an hour. Over here, storage compartments. Just regular. Got a 12 volt power outlet in this one as well. And also, if you push the key in and turn it a little bit to the right, it'll pop this open. There's another storage area. And you also got access to the battery in here as well. We'll go ahead and uh, move up to the back. Here's your point of view as a passenger on the scooter. Of course, there's really not anything interesting back here. But well, that's okay because it's a scooter. Here's your mirrors. Also, right over here, we'll go ahead and turn on the headlights and hazards, which are right here. And also, um, there's a kill switch right over here. Go ahead and take a look at the headlights and hazards. Nice. All right, not bad. Also, you do have your horn right over here. <laughs> it's very loud. <laughs> So in order to start the scooter, you of course insert the key into the ignition, turn it on, then you would make sure of course that the pedal is tucked away, then you would hold down this brake, and then here's the start switch, which you would start it up with. Well, that's it for this pretty short tour on the 2009 Suzuki Bergman 650. I mean, there wasn't really much to show. And the reason why I couldn't rev it was because, since, as I mentioned before, it doesn't have a neutral gear. So if I tried to rev it, it would just accelerate forward. Well, hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. See you next video.